guys welcome back to mika made it so if you are new to my channel thank you so much for tuning in and if you have visited my channel for a couple weeks now but you haven't subscribed please subscribe 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 so basically what i do is i create vegetarian caribbean inspired dishes and i also play with all types of vegetables just to kind of like you know show how exciting and fun a vegetarian diet can actually be so i hope you are all enjoying your 2024 so far and trying to be intentional that's my word for the year intentional every day you do something make sure that you feel good about that day and that you you know look back on it and don't have any missed opportunities obviously there's room for rest but um, just trying to take those steps to make better decisions and choices for yourself and with that motivational speech we're going to move on to talking about what we're going to be doing today so i'm going to be creating a asian inspired dish and I'm gonna be making some teriyaki um, chicken and rice. So we're gonna be using some oyster mushrooms in order to um, have this meal today. I'm going to be showing you how you can use different types of mushrooms over the next couple weeks to create uh, meat, meat dishes, meat-like dishes. Because um, one of the things that I think a lot of people struggle with, and myself included, because I've been a vegetarian now for maybe like eight years, and I just started really playing with like mushrooms myself, but they're so versatile. They taste really good, um, especially if you know how to like season them and um, recreate them in these different ways. Um, you can actually have a fun time with cooking them. So let's go and make this teriyaki dinner. So to get started, we're going to rinse off our mushrooms and then um, dry them. Make sure they're completely dry. I have this salad dryer that I never really use. So I was like, you know what? Let me use it because I paid for it um, and it really helped. So if you have one, cool. Now we're going to be making our um, batter. So just some simple ingredients here that I will list out for you in the description below. Um, but in essence, just some flour, baking powder, some corn, corn starch, and, um, you know, some normal seasonings i shouldn't say normal but um, everyday seasonings garlic powder onion powder and things like that um, and then of course you're going to make your wet batter by just taking some of the dry batter mix and um, adding some uh, plant-based milk to it i think that was some soy milk that i used until it's like a, you know a nice consistency and then we're going to chop up our oyster mushrooms just so that they fry a little bit more evenly and then you'll do your wet batter dry batter and um, coat them so then that way they can fry and they should look something like that. Hey guys, so um, I actually have someone that I would like you to meet. I totally forgot to introduce them to you um, earlier. So I have someone really special joining me on the channel. Um, they're gonna be here for as long as they can last. So yeah, can't wait to show you this new exciting thing. Let's welcome Queen Serenity to the Mika Made It team, everyone. So she's our new member and I'll talk about her in more detail a little bit later. But for now, let's get back to the sauce. So we're going to be using three heaping tablespoons of hoisting sauce, followed by some rice water, a tablespoon there as well. And then um, I used soy sauce and regretted it. So don't do that. You don't need it. It's not necessary at all gonna make it a little bit too salty um, and then just some black pepper and some paprika if you want to add some additional spices to your sauce and then lastly we're just gonna chop up a green onion for some garnish okay guys so we're all done and I'm really happy with the way how this came out so here is our teriyaki chicken with um, basmati rice I need basmati rice so here it is all done and as you can see has a really nice color there's it's kind of like crispy crunchy when you bite into it it's um, sweet and savory because it is a teriyaki sauce and um, yeah I have some sesame seeds thank you Lippy for garnish so if you're looking for a way to stay on track with your vegetarian goals if you if that's one of your goals for 2024 and you want something that kind of tastes a little bit meaty, then definitely try this teriyaki oyster mushroom, oyster, oyster mushroom <laughs> recipe, because I think you'll really enjoy it. Okay guys, so I'll see you next week for a new episode of Mika Made It.
bye